Sauropods are one of the most well-known groups of dinosaurs. Their enormous size, long necks, and tiny heads make them immediately recognizable. While the most famous species, like Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus, hailed from the Jurassic period or later, these giants were preceded by smaller sauropodomorphs in the Triassic. Platyosaurus is one of these basal sauropodomorphs and was the first of this group to be described. The genus includes two species, and together their fossils have been dated between 214 and 204 million years ago, during the Late Triassic. These dinosaurs had a long and flexible neck supporting a small head. Their tails were similarly long and muscular, a typical dinosaurian feature. In contrast, their growth pattern was unlike most dinosaurs, including their later relatives, the sauropods. Rather than growing to a relatively uniform adult size, Platyosaurus showed strong developmental plasticity. Fully grown Platyosaurus were anywhere between 4.8 and 10 meters long. Larger individuals weighed up to 4,000 kilograms, while smaller adults could weigh as little as 600. Their large bodies were supported by powerful hind limbs, and their forelimbs, though short, were notably muscular. While it has been proposed that Platyosaurus had an omnivorous diet, its skull contains many features which indicate it fed primarily to exclusively on plant material. Its teeth were small and leaf-shaped, much like those of modern herbivorous iguanas. Additionally, Platyosaurus's jaw articulated in a way that gave the chewing muscles great leverage, enabling a powerful bite for crushing plant material. Interestingly, certain Platyosaurus fossils have preserved sclerotic rings. These bones are also found around the eyes of modern reptiles and birds. Comparisons between the sclerotic rings of these animals and those of Platyosaurus suggest that this dinosaur may have been cathemeral. This means that Platyosaurus could have had irregular intervals of activity throughout the entire day and night. Another similarity between Platyosaurus and modern birds can be uncovered by looking at the dinosaur's rib cage. Because the ribs are connected to the vertebrae by a simple hinge joint, researchers were able to reconstruct the inhaled and exhaled position of Platyosaurus's rib cage. With this information, the amount of air moved with each breath has been deciphered. This value was found to be most similar to modern birds, suggesting that Platyosaurus had an avian-style lung. More than that, it implies that this dinosaur was warm-blooded. Perhaps the most debated of Platyosaurus's features is its posture. Shortly after its discovery, many different postures were proposed. For example, some scientists hypothesized that Platyosaurus walked with its back held upright and its tail dragging along the ground. Others believe that it was more likely that these dinosaurs were quadrupedal, walking on all four limbs. In the late 20th century, studies on the back of Platyosaurus showed that it was resistant to bending, and that these basal sauropodomorphs more likely held their back in a horizontal position. The consensus became that Platyosaurus could switch between walking on all fours while moving slowly, and relying on its hind limbs alone while moving more rapidly. This interpretation of Platyosaurus's posture has also since been disproven. A detailed study of this dinosaur's forelimbs revealed that their bone structure would not allow for quadrupedal locomotion. In combination with other indicators like the large difference in size between fore and hind limbs, we now know that Platyosaurus was a strict biped, only capable of walking on its hind limbs. Despite initial misinterpretations of this creature's fossils, Platyosaurus has become one of the dinosaurs best known to science. And although less recognizable than the sauropods it precedes, Platyosaurus was just as remarkable. <laughs>